Big fella trying to take it off. I ain't going to. You all right, big fella. You could have left your jacket on. Your big ass no good in hell well. I'm about to apologize to your big ass. You need to put some goddamn clothes on what you need to do. Quit speaking to people and dress your ass next time you come out your house. I'm talking about y'all's ass. I bet you better carry your drunk ass on down that aisle. I know that. <laughs> Turn around talking back to me and your ass ain't. You better, lady, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, save your man is trying to save you. Better carry your ass on. There's always some drunk ass woman somewhere starting some shit. Can't whoop nobody ass. Now he got to come to her rescue, gonna get his ass whooped. Best believe I put this motherfucking suit on. Don't think I'm taking an ass whooping in it. Motherfucker, I got all kind of people with me. I will half kill your ass. Motherfuckers, kids, you know, people, it's just amazing to me how people think your ass just ain't what you used to be no more. Boy, I'm sorry. Did y'all ride together? <laughs> Look like y'all going two separate places. What lady with the little yellow beach hat on? What the fuck is you going? I'm through. I'm through talking about people. I, mean, I, mean, I know better. Now I know I'm I'm a I'm a, I'm a Christian. I, I shouldn't even be. No, hey, hey, what the hell you mean all? You <laughs> I know you probably can't tell, but but my mama raised me in the church. Uh, she did. I, I know. I know it looks shaky to you right now. Some of the stuff I say, but and I, I, I do understand where all mine come from. I really do. And I think a lot of y'all. My, my mama made me go to church all the time. How many of y'all, by round of applause, had to go to church all the time? Now hold on. Now hold on. Hold on. Don't clap if you don't understand what I'm saying. When I say all the time, I mean who had to go to church all the time. Monday night, prayer meeting, Tuesday night, Bible study, Wednesday night, missionary meeting, Thursday night, deacon board meeting, Friday night, young people meeting, Saturday night, everybody meeting. I looked at my mama once, I told my mama, I said, mama, I, I'd rather go to hell. <laughs> so this going to heaven is way too much pressure. And I'm going to tell you something, when you go to church all the time, you got to find little things to like about church to make you want to go, because when you're nine, you really don't understand church. You understand it now, because it's the basis for your success that you have today. If you didn't have that religious foundation, you wouldn't be successful today. So you understand it today. But when you're nine, you don't understand that. You got to go all the time, so you got to look for little things to make you want to go to church. And the thing that I adapted to that made me want to go to church all the time was when I found out that there was people at the church that cussed. When I found out it was cussing at the church, that's when I wanted to go all the time. And I didn't know you was cussing aloud at the church till I heard my mama's best friend. Her name was Sister Odell. Sister Odell was senile and 84 years old. And that's the first time I heard cussing at the church. I was nine years old. I was standing in line about to buy a cupcake at a bake sale. I didn't know that Sister Odell didn't like Deacon Thornton. Now, Deacon Thornton was about three people behind me. And I heard Sister Odell lean over to my mother and go, here come this sorry motherfucker here. When you're nine years old, that's a, that's a shocking ass, you know, revelation. So I wanted to go to church all the time and sit next to Odell so I could hear some more cussing. And Sister Odell ain't never let me down. I was sitting next to her. They be passing the tray around. I don't know how much money these motherfuckers think I got. I got goddamn bills back at my house. This is bullshit. Son of a bitch, just quit begging. The other thing that I loved about church was uh was devotion. You remember that that part of church that they called devotion? 